Привет. Ты не занята? Ты не занята, все, я дома, все нормально. А баклажан мой самый любимый, я тоже. Ты любишь баклажан, да? Не, мне кажется, у меня аллергия на него. Кабачок я обожаю. Вино, я надеюсь, ты пьешь хоть немножко вина? Да, но не красное. Okay, so time to give an update. I have so many like little things to update you guys on. So I feel like I'm not gonna like bombard you guys with updates here. I'm just gonna like mention a few of the important things. And then like as the day goes on, I'll slowly update you on more. So this is like a new mini era because basically I really want to start vlogging a little bit more this week. This week is very chaotic. And I was like, this is good to capture this week. Also to like bring you guys into the context of my life a little bit because I feel like I've just been gone for this whole year. I basically realized like my London era was not my era like it was not my thrive era so let me think of like any quick updates that you guys would need to know first of all i'm moving to barcelona in august that is insane to me i've definitely mentioned it before but i don't know in case you haven't seen anything from me in a while second of all i'm spending most of my summer in gran canaria latvia and lisbon and then the third thing is related to lisbon as i just said so me and my friend viola were hosting like this lisbon trip so that is what i was just doing now we had to figure something out Now, if this trip goes well, we would definitely do more. Anyway, to give you guys the context of what my week looks like this week, I'm basically going to Gran Canaria next week and I have so much to do before then because I don't know why I did this to myself and it might not work out. Like if it doesn't work out, please don't come at me, but I'm truly trying to upload three times a week. Let me see how long for it because I don't know how long I'm doing that for. I am trying to upload three times a week for all of July and August. To me, that's insane because right now i don't even upload once a week it's gonna be hard but we can do it i'm really just trying to make up for the fact that i have not uploaded a lot i'm trying to get back into being regular initially i just planned videos for once a week and then i was like this is so little like i have so many things i want to like film and then it went up to two times a week and then i was like i can do more <laughs> but i feel like because i've not shared so much in the past year like me living in england was really not my era for some reason like i really did not upload a lot i feel like i have so many things i have so many ideas so many like little things i want to make videos for so i feel like i'm almost like making up for that before moving to spain and then when i'm in spain new era guys completely new era i'm so excited so since i'm starting my day so late today i think i'm gonna order some food because basically i made a promise to myself to not order any more food i'm so bad with ordering i just need to cook but literally the plan for my day unless i am able to like do everything quicker than it's meant to take i literally don't have a free minute and then we're gonna start working on my tax return i was literally about to make my order what was that it took me seven and a half minutes <laughs> actually that's pretty good for me usually it's longer we got food Okay, I got tempted by the banana bread because how often do you see vegan banana bread? I'm sorry. Okay, so now that my food is on the way, I'm gonna start with my tax return. I have been avoiding it like the plague, literally. Like my accountant emailed me like in May or like beginning of June and he was like, okay, this is due in July, do it soon. I've been avoiding it. So we're gonna start it today. Last year, this took me hours because I am a very organized person, but for some reason with finances, I'm so unorganized. So this is gonna take me hours. I got some wakame. It is mango and tofu and edamame and brown rice. Look at it. Ah, no! I knew something like that was gonna happen and I still did it. <gasps> I'm gonna cry. Back to our tax returns. So I'm currently very much not following my 
schedule because I started doing my taxes and I was like, this is impossible. Like I'm not even gonna be able to do it in a week. And then as I started doing it, it was taking very long, but I was like, honestly, I can finish this today. Like, yes, maybe it needs like three hours, but it makes more sense to do it in one day in like three hours rather than break it up into like different days because kind of like lose the flow a little bit. Also, I want to tell you guys a random little stupid thing I've been doing for a month. So basically I have a very, very strong iron deficiency and I have like a very mild vitamin D deficiency. Like it's not that strong. Like I'm almost not even vitamin D deficient. Somehow my brain completely mixed both of those up as if they were like the same thing. And I got vitamin D supplements and I was like, oh my God, like I'm so deficient. Like I'm so tired because like I have no vitamin D in my system, blah, blah, blah. And basically on the little bottle of these supplements, it said that you can take from one to four pills a day safely based on how much you need. And my brain got confused. I was like, oh yes, I am so vitamin D deficient, even though I'm I'm not even vitamin D deficient. Like I'm almost vitamin D deficient. So I started taking four pills every single day for like a month. And then I started having a lot of these symptoms where like every second day I would feel really nauseous and like I would really feel like I had to puke. And there was like four times where I actually did vomit. So I would eat food and like 30 minutes later, I would start feeling really nauseous and I would puke. And I was like, what is going on? Because like I have never felt so much nausea within a month. I had a lot of leads, so at first I thought I was allergic to a certain food, and then I was like, that doesn't make sense, and then I ate it again, and I felt fine, so I was like, okay, I'm not allergic. Then I thought it was another thing. Basically, I thought, like, my sports bras were really, really tight, because apparently sometimes when your sports bras are really tight, like, it restricts airflow a tiny bit, and you can start feeling nauseous, but that's, like, not super common. And then I was like, oh, I feel like it could be the vitamin D, because, like, I started taking it around the same time that I started feeling sick, and then I told told one of my friends, I was like, yeah, I've been feeling sick. Like, I think I'm taking too much of it. Cause like I'm anemic. So like, I thought like I should take more. And then she was like, oh, but anemia is not vitamin D deficiency. It's an iron deficiency. And I was like, I knew that, but I like complete, my brain just mixed them up completely. I don't know how. So basically I've been like giving my body way too much vitamin D and I've been puking and like feeling nauseous all the time because my body is like, this is too much. You don't need this much. And I'm literally like, I am sorry body. Like anyway, at least I know I have enough vitamin D. I just have a little too much maybe, but. <laughs> about to send it off. I cannot explain to you how relieved I feel. Well, not relieved because I, <laughs> I have a really bad relationship with money. Like it scares me and that's something I'm trying to work on. And I need to stop saying I have a bad relationship with money because then I'm just emphasizing my bad relationship with money, which is what makes it bad. It did take me a while. Like, let me check exactly how long it took. It took me five hours. That honestly really felt like three hours. I'm about to send it off. Okay, three, two, one, send. It's not sending. Please send. Thank you. Message could not be sent. <laughs> It's sent. I'm free. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So I have not realized how long I've been sitting on my computer for, like literally five hours in a row. I took basically no break. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna do the tiniest amount of decluttering because about like two weeks ago, I did this decluttering method where I basically, it's not even a method, like it was really, really dumb. I did it at a really bad time. But basically I tried to put like everything I own into like all of my suitcases. So when I'm moving to Spain, I already know which suitcases exactly I'm bringing. And I have seven out of eight of them here. So basically I was like, okay, I can just like pack all my stuff up as if I'm leaving tomorrow Like just pack up everything and then see how much is left and then that way I know how much to get rid of and when I did that It was actually like a tiny bit useful But like not worth the amount of time it took because I had to pack everything in my room and then I had to unpack everything in my room I saw that like I don't have enough space to fit in everything So I definitely have to get rid of more stuff, but I don't know what to get rid of So instead of just like making it hard for myself and just like trying to declutter like the day before before I move or something. What I said is that every single day up until I move that I'm in this house, I'm gonna try to get rid of like five to 10 things. Since I'm going to Gran Canaria and then Latvia and then Lisbon, I'm only gonna be in this room for like a collective time, like two and a half weeks. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Okay, so I'm going to be here for a total of 18 days. In the next three months, I'm gonna be here for 18 days. If we get rid of five things every day for 18 days, that's 90 things. That's good. Five things a day shouldn't be that hard. Thing is, it's day one and I already don't know what to get rid of. ringtone. 
Ah, now there's a right tone. <laughs> Can you help me for two seconds? Sima, hi! <laughs> anyway, I have seven things. I need your opinion. I'm wearing my turkey sleeping shirt because it's really warm But I have chosen my five shirts Number one, this one, the wide neck Look how wide this neck is Second of all, I just realized now that it's What the word? What the word? <laughs> English, stained Next thing is this one I think the knit is beautiful I don't like the bottom Like why does it do that anyway? Next one is this one I feel like I look 14 years old when I wear this This I actually bought when I was 14 years old This doesn't fit like I want it to fit So I am proud of me This is for one day This is like five hoodies basically or sweatshirt so this takes up a lot of space i feel like the next days won't be so successful like watch me like tomorrow i'm gonna be like i'm getting rid of this bag i have a little box here with all of the clothes that i don't want it is somehow already 9 p.m like what I'm supposed to wake up at 5 a.m. tomorrow. I'm not gonna be tired in the next 45 minutes. Technically, I'm meant to sleep in 45 minutes. I'm not tired at all. So maybe today I'll just go to sleep at like 12. So what I think I'm gonna do for the next like hour and a half is just work and plan some videos because basically I was meant to film three videos today. I'm filming one of them right now, but I didn't film the other two because I did not expect myself to want to finish all the taxes today But honestly, I'm glad I did like I can literally just like not think about that anymore until the tax return comes back And they tell me how much I have to pay <laughs> But yeah, let us start working on a video I'm gonna work in bed usually would not recommend but I'm trying to make myself tired mm -hmm. 